The two martial arts movies that uh, people talk about as far as being the best are Bloodsport and Enter the Dragon. Now I'm going to give you my opinion, which is that Bloodsport is a much better martial arts movie than Enter the Dragon. Because Bloodsport is just all about the tournament. Basically, the movie starts, uh, all these fighters, where are you going? I'm going to the Kumite. Movie ends, um, uh, John claudes character has won, uh, basically defeated his final opponent, Bolo. That's one thing, actually, it's funny, uh, the, the, those two movies both have Bolo Young playing uh, uh, like a bad guy fighter. Um, but the, then um, uh, John claude gets on the plane, goes home, movie's over. Now, Enter the Dragon is really more of a, it's like a spy movie, a cop movie, a caper movie. There's some guy has, uh, has an island and he's, um, he's trafficking humans, he's, uh, he's trafficking drugs. Um, so it's this crime caper where basically Bruce Lee has to go infiltrate. He has to enter the dragon and bring this crime lord down. That's what the movie's really about. And the crime lord happens to have some tournaments that he sponsors on his island, but that's it. So it's not about the, you know, and Bruce Lee, of course, the few fights that he has are fantastic, but Bloodsport is all about the fights. The entire movie is basically all about the tournament. And I believe it really set a trend because there were a lot of tournament movies after that. There really wasn't a martial arts movie like it beforehand. That was, you know, there would be uh, there would be martial arts fights and Asian movies. Not uh, uh, there really weren't any uh, American films quite like that uh, um, until uh, uh, Enter the Dragon. But even Enter the Dragon, it's not a tournament movie. It's a it's a crime caper. It's a spy movie. So uh, as far as being uh, the ultimate martial arts movie, uh, I'm going to bang my own drum and say it's Bloodsport.